So today I was feeling kinda nostalgic and homesick since it's the 1st of May, May Day, Beltane, Labor Day, Workers' Day or however you call it in your country. In Greece we call it Protomaya or Ergatiki Protomaya which means Workers 1st of May and obviously apart from the political part which is the reason why everything is closed on that day I like this tradition of flower crown making so freaking much. So as I said before everything is closed on that day and people hit the road, leave the cities and go to the countryside, you know, imagine fields of poppies, daisies, chamomile uh, my family is a huge uh, fan of this tradition, so we were doing it every year religiously. Uh, so I was scrolling through my camera roll, <laughs> here is some footage of me back in 2017. Yeah, I had purple hair and I looked like I was going to a funeral or, so or something. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you have any similar tradition on this day or if not, what you do as an individual, because I am a sucker for things like that. <laughs> So after we collect all the flowers and make our flower crowns and if you are me, take a dozen photos wearing it, feeling like an earth goddess, ah, cringe, <laughs> we gather in big groups and eat together, which now sounds so surreal with the whole global pandemic shit going on. Um, actually in Greece they extended the lockdown for the solely purpose of people not gathering today to celebrate, which sounds fair. In 2018 we also went to the countryside again, I believe the exact same place. The only thing that changed was my hair color. <laughs> again, I took photos of flowers in my shoes, I don't know why I do this all the time. Um, last year we changed it a bit and went to Mount Olympus. Since I can't do any of this now, nor I can go to the Scottish countryside, I decided to make a flower crown with whatever I could find laying in my neighborhood or the garden. Thank god we have a garden. <laughs> uh, so into the garden we go. Let's grab our scissors, ladies and gents. And as you can see I'm very very shy. I'm wearing my pajamas and I'm trying to avoid any people like walking by so I just I ran. I grabbed a few branches of um, this ivy and just went back home again. I um, also decided to cut these um, pink flowers from this tree, I don't know how it's called, is it a cherry blossom or not, I don't know. Um, and here it's me trying to make the crown. Obviously um, I don't have a wire which works best if you're trying to make this because it takes uh, any form you want. Uh, so I just, I, I did it with this ribbon, I know it looks bootleg but it kind of worked to me. For me to be honest so I tied all the ivy branches around. Uh, in this process I noticed that most of the pink little flowers I gathered were starting to collapse. <laughs> so I decided to put them in my hair after I put the crown. So yeah, here's me casually posing near the microwave. <laughs> and I don't know why but today my face looked like a potato so excuse me. <laughs> I also popped some um, gypsophilies. I don't know, how is it in English? So yeah, here is my garland. Uh, it looks cute. Um, it's minimal. It's completely different than most of the crowns we do each year with my mom. Actually, my mom uh, sent it me hers like a few minutes ago and it looked so cute. This is it. And I decided to send her mine and she liked it more than hers. Yeah, so here's me wearing it and that's it. Bye!